the current state of play of high pressure, high temperature assets is that these assets have remained at the fringes of the development plans of exploration and production companies for the past decade. Um, they're high cost, marginal returns, and relatively unproven technological capability has meant that only IOCs with a massive risk appetite have been looking at them. So an example, ExxonMobil have a few HPHD assets, BP, Shell and Hess Corporation. They've looked at some of these assets for, for development. Now, as you can imagine, when oil was over $100 per barrel, these looked really attractive. But with the current drop in the oil price scenario at the moment, the attractiveness of, this, of these assets has dropped significantly. So from a development point of view, IHS analysis from our data shows that it will take approximately tens of billions for you to develop some of these high-profile projects. Cascada as an example, Tiber and Gila as an example. And the break-even cost under the scenario is in the range of the lower 70, 70 dollars per barrel. So when you do the math and look at where we are currently with the oil price relative to the break-even cost, you can actually see that it could be quite challenging for you to produce these assets at this particular time. The technology challenges for HPHG projects are several fold, but the key ones mainly have to do with drilling and subsea systems. And if I take the if I take the onshore environment at the moment, currently industry technology stands about 30,000 psi and temperatures about 175 degrees C. In the onshore environment, these are well proven and they have been demonstrated to work. However, in the offshore environment, currently, current industry technology stands about 15,000 psi at 150 degrees C temperature. Now, a lot of fields have been found which are over and beyond that benchmark for offshore. An example is a Cascada asset in the Gulf of Mexico with pressures over 20,000 psi, so the downhole pressure over 20,000 psi, and the same for the Tiber asset. To fill that technology gap, BP has commissioned a study called the 20K Project, and that study, working with Maersk, is looking to develop new drilling rigs and systems which are capable of producing capable of operating under those conditions. Beyond that, the subsea systems, so the umbilicals, the subsea structures, rises and flow lines, all have to be developed to withstand the downhole pressure of the reservoirs.